If you've ever had clogged up gutters or downspouts, you know what a problem that can be. But an even bigger problem is not having a gutter system at all like this house. Now, as you can see, without a gutter system, rainwater has fallen from the roof and basically dug a trench and eroded the ground down to gravel. Now, this is not good because water can collect here near the base of the home and could cause foundation problems. Those are very expensive to repair. So today, we're going to install a modern gutter, which works just like a traditional gutter, but without the cleaning and the maintenance. It's called the rain handler. It has a louver design, sort of like a Venetian blind. So when rainwater hits the louvers, it disperses the water two to three feet away from the house in rain-sized droplets. And because of the design, leaves or other debris won't get trapped in the louvers. Now these are made out of rust-proof aluminum and they come in three different colors. You can choose from white, brown, or the unpainted aluminum color, which you can paint to match the color of your house. The rain handler is easy to install. Let me show you how. The way to determine how much material you'll need is to measure the fascia board around your house and then divide by five. That's because the product comes in five foot sections. Now if you have an odd number, just measure up to the next five foot increment. Our next step is to install our brackets around the fascia board. Now the first bracket needs to be installed ten inches away from the edge of the fascia board, which is here and then every 20 inches after that for the length of the run. Now the most important part about installing the bracket is to make sure that the bottom part of the bracket sits flush with the bottom of the fascia board. That way the rain handler sits low enough that there's enough drop for the water to create the energy to disperse it away from the house. We're using aluminum screws to install our brackets because these won't rust. Now again, just make sure that your bracket sits flush with the bottom of the fascia board. Now that we have some of the brackets up, we're ready to install the first section. This is a locking mechanism on the back of the bracket which holds the rain handler in place. Now for your first section, make sure that you line it up with the edge of the fascia board and then slip the hook of the bracket into the second louver and then snap it into place. All right, we're moving right along with our installation, so now we're ready for this section. Now here's a situation that you're probably going to run into. One of your sections is going to be too long and you're going to have to make a cut. Now you have a choice. You can either cut it from that end or this end, but really it's better to cut it from the inside so that you're left with a nice finished edge on the outside and that's going to look a lot better. We're going to make two cuts on here instead of one so that we have a nice straight cut. I'm going to cut up to the bend which is there, and I'm going to turn the louvers towards me and cut down to the bend, just like that. Now all I have to do is bend that back out of the way and continue to make the cuts. All right, now that we have this section cut, we are almost finished with the installation. All I have to do is snap this in place and now, let's test the rain handler and see how it works. Okay, I've run a garden hose up on the roof, so let me turn this water hose on and we'll check it out. As you can see, the rain handler is working beautifully. It's dispersing the water away from the house, which is going to help reduce the risk of foundation problems. And, unlike traditional gutters, you don't have to clean this or maintain it. 